Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and today we are not talking about the Arm Shark, you know, DI Blade Tsunami, which, however, I will say is a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than the uh, Bally Plus one in terms of the geometry. But it's also actually kind of bouncy. Maybe not so much in the ricochets, but in an ice pick test, after getting some new hardware, um, and it still needs a tune, but after getting some hardware, you know, this thing is actually somewhat bouncy, and uh, it's kind of changing my opinion a little bit about it. Could I recommend it more? I mean, I don't think my overall verdict will be very different. Um, however, if you prefer more blade bias, it is more blade bias than the Bally Plus without weight, right? It's a slightly heavier blade. And it's better blade steel, and it seems a little bit more corrosion resistant. This is actually a really, really good uh, blade steel. Not like budget blade steel, I think it's like 14C arm mob or something like that, you know? Blade seals always have some crazy names. But uh, yeah, sadly, sorry to all of you guys who are really offended when I have a one-handed unboxing. But uh, sadly, outside is not feasible for today. So we are going to be doing another one-handed unboxing. But it should go smoothly as long as I uh, decide to be dexterous today. Um, especially with, with this, you know, this blade. And it should... You know, what, I'm just going to stop talking. Because I feel like the more I talk, the more I let myself down. Um, but yeah, we're just going to open this up here. Oh, dude, this, this tape, it's always crazy, isn't it? Um, let's get some some slits in here. Let's just weaken the material a little bit. There we go. Right, and then we've got the classic, standard, necessary, Bally Plus, one of those guys. Um, and then, of course, the... Uh, Actual Bally Songus itself, if the box would like to make an appearance. And this actually is the new updated Bally Plus box, which is pretty exciting stuff. Here it is. It is a really, really pleasant, almost soft to the touch paper texture. It kind of feels like a literal sheet of paper. It doesn't smell great, but uh, I mean, it smells like a box. Um, really, really, really nice chromed logo here. You know, I think it looks fantastic. Put this out, uh, Arm Shark Tsunami away. Um, and yeah, let's take a look at the brand new Bally Plus V4 Orca. Um, this does not seem to be the one that I ordered. That's already disappointing news. That's really disappointing news if it's not the one that I ordered. I did not want the black one. I wanted the polished one. Oh, this is not great news. So I've got the baggie open. This is not the one that I ordered. Oh, this is really, really tragic. But, I mean, it, it still looks really good, to be fair. Um, where's my little cloth that I can use? wipe this down because this this is covered in grease here which means makes me not want to get it okay um let's wipe this down a little bit and um yeah i guess despite it not being the, the right color um i guess it is still at the end of the day a valley plus orca v2 um yeah let's it's not fun though, and it's come in the in the wrong colour. It's got a nice bigger handle gap than I was expecting. Um here it is. I wanted the polished one so that I could uh anodize it myself. But yeah, this blade is uh I don't know, it's it's quite pretty to be fair. Um let's see the tolerances. They're about alright for Bally Plus. Um yeah, it seems like it's got some sort of oil in there that it comes with. Um, but anyways, we, we hear about the flipping experience, not necessarily about the, uh, the aesthetic choices that are made here. But this in the polish would have been so much cooler. Anything wrong, I like the black hardware. You know, it's T10. Double-sided T10, even. But, uh, it is really just a shame that it's, it's not what I ordered, which is, like... But, you know, that's my first miss ship, I guess. Um. But yeah, really, really nice, uh, like, you know... Satin flanks, really cool kind of stonewash, chemically darkened process. 
here you know on the blade and on the thing it actually looks much better in person than the uh, photos would leave you to believe like this black is like quite a nice black but uh, i guess let's let's go for a flip test oh first things right off the bat it is lighter than you would think um it is lighter than it looks and it's even actually rather bouncy and it's on regular bushings i believe um it's a light handle bias already, I can feel that. And it still has this kind of interesting feeling that the Orca has um, when it comes to the blade profile. The blade profile is a, an interesting, it's a unique one. Um, it's a little bit smaller in profile than, than other Orcas. Obviously you can see I've brought the, the other clones here to compare. The only thing I'm missing is the Bally Plus one. Slightly bigger gap than this, off, right, right off the bat. The sound is quite cool. Very high pitched ring at the moment with whatever oil they're using. But the design is certainly better than that of... Than that of like the other orcas I've seen. Um, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. Uh, you know, Orca, JK. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I'm not sure about the Orca, JK bit there. No, that's not super cool. Um, but that's just belly plus how they roll, isn't it? Um, the blade is cool. I just, I'm really bummed about the handles because I was really looking forward to a polished one. Um, which is like... <sighs> so I'll, I'll see if I can either get a, a polished one out or well, if they're not out of stock already. But I feel like this with a tune-up actually could be quite a quite a potent bass on it. If you prefer something that's a little heavier than Thanks Buddy Plus. A little bit heavier than like the, the tsunamis. Yeah it's, it's definitely a, a chunk heavier. It's uh a little lighter than this. For comparison I'm not going to do a super detailed comparison here in the unboxing, but I mean, in the closed position. And there's your, your gaps, it's got a slightly bigger gap. Um, in the open position, you know, that's them. That's got a slightly bigger gap, but it's not broken in. Uh, handles are a little more slender. And the blades of profiles are actually rather similar. Um, this, I imagine, is also, you know, unsightly sharp, like most Chinese battle songs are. Um, Overall, that's quite good to be honest. Um, I imagine this would be quite durable. You know, it's titanium after all. Um, it's quite a good flipper. It doesn't chaplain amazingly, to be fair. Um, what 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 does this swing test say? This swing test says it's fairly neutral with a little bit of handle bias, which is about what I'd expect. Um, I'd say it's probably actually less neutral than this, but this also has more butt weight, um, and it's definitely definitely less neutral than this. This is also quite neutral, but the balances are also actually very very similar. Like they all have this same light handle biasy feel. Whereas I feel like this is probably the most competitive of the bunch. Um, but the lighter weight, at least in the handles, would mean that it doesn't chaplain as nicely as that does. But it's not that it chaplains badly, just you can't chaplain crazy fast like on some other ballets you can. But you can still get, you know, everything done that you need to. Yep. Sounds pretty good. Is it like a you know a competitor with like the serif? I mean, considering these things go for like a grand new, I don't know. Like, would I pay a grand for like a real one of these? No. Um, is it still beautiful though? Yes. I mean, it's still very very pretty pretty bar song. Um, if it likes to focus, yeah yeah you can see. Very nice dome wash new nest milling. Blade looks relatively straight. It looks actually quite straight. Um, yeah, nice speed channels. 
to be fair, it's a really, really nice power song. Uh, what does it remind me of? Not much to me. It flips like an orca. If you've tried any of the other orca clones, I mean, it's similar. I think this with a good tune will hopefully sound quite good. Um, yeah, I just can't, I can't get over this is the wrong colour. This was literally the colour I wanted least. Um, I say that it was between the black and the, the polished, really. Um, but I, I didn't know the polish was an option, and so I ordered the, the polished one, and I got a black one. Um, which is, like, <sighs> depressing, but, um... <sighs> I'm just really hoping that the polished one is still in stock, because I'd still like to get one, um, as opposed to this. And if I were to do any model work, I'd do it myself, rather than... Um, trying to undo the finish here because I'm not able to get the insides of those channels <laughs> you know despite the speed channel like I'm not going in there for example um, but it is what it is at the end of the day um, yeah the high level is good quality the fillings is a decent I'm not a fan of these like bronze washers or brass washers that they use Bally Plus but I mean they take standard hardware right so if you have stainless or um Phosphor bronze washers, like you know, you'll be you'll be fine. Just swap them out. You know, you got some spare squid hardware laying around, and I guess it's kind of cool. It does come with spare black hardware, so if you have like a tsunami or something, you want some black hardware, you don't mind swapping this over. Yeah, you can always you can always do that. Um, no, it is it's quite good. It's. Okay, ignoring the colour, right, this is actually a really fantastic battle song. Um, is it one that I would say is like an amazing flipper? It's pretty good. It's no Kraken. It's no Tsunami. It's quite fun. Um, more so than like performance. I would not say this is a super competitive battle song. Um... Uh, what am I trying to do? This. But I will say, it does do, I mean, it does do everything. You know, it'll do the worst choke fan you've ever seen in your life. No, it'll do quite good choke fans. It'll palm fan. It'll even do a rev fan. Um, you know, does an ice pick test nicely. It's starting to kind of, not break in, but, uh, It'll rev 8 ball, perfectly fine as well. Ow. Nicked myself a little bit on, on this bit here. It's it's quite sharp. It's, yeah. Like it's not going to bleed, but like I felt the little the little pinch from there. Give me a little kiss. Right there, right on the edge. Um, but yeah, it'll, it'll do. Yeah, the trick's fine. I would say, you know, if you're going to get one of these... And you don't flip super sharp life blades. Maybe, maybe consider like cutting a few styrofoam boxes or like dulling it a little bit. At least maybe just down here where you'll probably get nicked the most. Um, it's not like the Bally Plus Tsunami, which I've not had to dull whatsoever. I think this thing is still like you know paper slicing sharp, but like I almost never get nicked by it. It's just one of those. Maybe partially because it's so light, so it doesn't carry like a ton of momentum, but also like. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that blade. That was probably the blade getting slapped into another blade. But that's the titanium, so this probably took the back end. Titanium and G10. Um, but I actually think this sounds better so far, and obviously it looks better being you know, the color that it is. Um, absolutely love this color. It's to die for. But I think it's quite funny, though, how it's like a similar pattern here with, like, you know, uh, satin sides. Compared to, yeah. I re it does feel well put together though. This is a really really good battle song, and so despite my slightly unhappy tone, it is quite good. The handle gap is quite good. It flips quite well. It flips like an orca. This is something different. It is probably a another kind of grail level battle song, similar to the tsunami. Um, at least when it comes to clones, like this is a clone that is worth the money. Um, if I were to say objectively, um, 
I'm just like really, really like you don't understand, man. Like I'm really bummed. I was super excited to get like the polished one. It was gonna play with the light so much. Oh. So yeah, that other than that, this is really fantastic. Um but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment if you have any questions. I will be making a comparison with these two clones as well. Um, and, you know, you'll get to see more of the JK Orca clone here, V2. Um, and I'll see if I can get it sorted to get myself the, the right color. But uh, otherwise, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.